Yo, what's going on gents? Welcome back to another episode of Gears and Guns. Today we're doing the fourth episode of my 300 Blackout Build series. And today we're gonna be sighting in the rifle, as well as experimenting with a couple different weights of ammunition or projectiles to see which one it shoots most accurately with. I'm gonna be using my Red Baron AR-15 build with the 10 and a half inch barrel chambered in 556 along with some match grade Hornady Frontier ammunition as a benchmark just to see how close we can get in terms of accuracy to that gun. When we reach the range I'll fill you guys in with all the ammunition types that I've brought and we'll proceed with the accuracy testing. All right, gents, so I just reached the range and this is what we're working with here. I'm expecting the best results from this Hornady 125 grain. It's not much ammunition, so we're not gonna get like the best results. I also have some rifle line. This is also 125 grain. So we'll see how that works. And then finally, we have some Magtech Tactical. This is 123 grain. And again, we're gonna be using the 556 Hornady Frontier as a benchmark. This is the 60 grain. So I'm gonna go ahead and sight it in with the Hornady Frontier ammunition and go from there. Alright, so we look like we're getting close now. I'm gonna fire three shot group at a different point of aim. And after the range goes cold, we can check it to see if we're on or if we're off. Now I'm gonna shoot the Red Baron Air 15. I'm shooting some Wolf Military Classic. Just because it's what I normally shoot when I'm out having fun and rapid firing and whatnot. So I figure I might as well sight it in with what I use. And then after, we're gonna use the Hornet Frontier Mac and use that gun as the benchmark. So much easier with a red dot too. It's just a one times object, but it's way easier than outside. So this gun definitely has a big advantage over the 300 blackout. Not even considering the fact that this bullet has more velocity. Alright, so it looks like we're printing high right.
nozzle brake on the red barn build with a hole in the bag. Those hot gases just can't stop them. All right, gents, so let's see what we got. Some weird bullet holes here, yo. It's like the bullet is going sideways. What the f That's got to be uh, something to do with the barrel. I marked out the rounds that we had fired already. So this is our group with the 5.56. Five, and then this is our group, our final group with the 300 blackout. So these have already been shot. So this must be the flyer. We must, or did I just fire two? I'm not sure, but I think it's safe to say that these guns are sighted in. So I'm put a fresh target on, and then we're gonna go ahead and test out the 300 blackout ammunition after we put a group in the center with the 556. So we're gonna have the 556 in the middle, and then each one of the different 300 blackout ammunitions on the edges. So let's see what we can do with this at 25 yards. Try to not destroy the bag anymore. There's a nice hole there for the hand. Stop though. Let's see how Guys, don't forget that this is a seven and a half inch barrel versus the ten and a half inch AR-15. And let's just do one more group with the Wolf 55 grain, just because we have another quadrant and we can compare that to the Hornady Frontier. So that's that, we have our groups down. Just have to wait now until the line gets cold and we can go down and inspect the target. So this is our control group. This is the Hornady Match. That is the 5.56, five, so the 10 and a half inch barrel. This is our five shot group right here, which is pretty shit. But I'm thinking something's up with that gun because the bullets are landing sideways coming from the Wolf. It could be the Wolf ammunition, but this is our Wolf group at 25 yards, which is horrible. That's probably like a five inch group. So our control is not really so much of a control, but here's our first group that we shot with the 300 blackout. This is the Hornady. This is a very good group, this is super tight. This is what you'd expect at 25 yards with that ammunition. It's not match grade ammunition, but that's what you should expect, especially with the Faxon barrel. So here's our five shot group with the Magtech. This one's opened up a little bit. We have one flyer up here that pretty pretty much messed up the group. But this four shot group's pretty good. This is looking like maybe a three inch group. And then down here we have our rifle line group. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this one's opened up quite a bit. This is probably like another five shot group. So this ammunition is definitely not good. I'm pretty impressed with the Magtech group because this is also a budget ammunition like the rifle line. And that's not too bad. We do have one flyer. So I'll definitely do some more testing with that ammunition to see what we can get. But yeah, if you guys know why this is happening, why the bullets are landing sideways in the 556, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'm gonna go ahead and load up some more mags and see what we can do. Alright gents, so I decided to give the rounds one more shot. Right here we have the Hornady from the 300 Blackout. Another pretty good group, we did have one flyer that pretty much the group. But this is like a inch group, that's pretty bad at 25 yards honestly. Considering we do have iron sights, that's not bad. And then again, this was the Magtech. This is a pretty solid group. I'm really impressed with the Magtech because it's a really budget round and we're getting pretty good groups. This is about an inch. Maybe this is a little bit less than an inch. And then here's the rifle line. This is another garbage group. 
This one is like, let's see, this would be about one inch. It's over two inches for sure. Or maybe around two inches. Actually, this one might even be longer. But yeah, that one's pretty garbage as well. I went ahead and shot another group through the 5.56 five, with the Hornady. And again, we got one more flyer. So maybe the Hornady is just not doing well in that 5.56. Five, this is a really good group. Mm, especially at 25 yards, this is what you'd be expecting. But we did have one flyer. Maybe I pulled that one. I'm not sure, but pretty happy with these groups so far. I'll catch back up with you guys at the house. And I'll give you guys my final thoughts on the test. All right, guys, so I just got home and poor Ziggs must have been waiting hungry on me to come home. So he must have been bored as well. So I gave him his toy that's also interactive. Keep him busy. And I wanted to recap on what happened at the range today because I was really surprised about how well the 300 blackout was shooting and also surprised at how bad the 556 five, red barn build was shooting. All right, so I had to move to get a little bit better lighting, but when I was shooting the wolf ammunition through the red barn build, the bullets were landing sideways at 25 yards, which means it was destabilizing at 25 yards, between one and 25 yards, which is terrible. But when I shot the Hornady match ammunition through it, it was not doing that, but the groups just weren't good at all. And I was being pretty accurate, I was trying my best. And I think at best I got like a one inch group or something like that. I'll put it up on screen for you guys. But I also was pretty surprised at how accurate the 300 blackout build was at 25 yards with the iron sight. I guess that's due to the Faxon barrel and the Hornady ammunition. I mean, the groups with the Hornady was amazing. It was, it was ridiculous, it was a very tight group. I know it's just 25 yards. But I was using iron sights and it was a very tight group. It was like a half inch group. And then I was also surprised at how well it did with the Magtech ammunition, which is a budget round. I got it for pretty cheap. I think it was like 50 rounds in the box. So it's kind of bulk, not your usual 20 round box. And it was very reasonable and it seemed to like that ammunition. And I did tune the gas system for that ammunition, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. So overall, I'm very pleased with the accuracy, accuracy results from the 300 Blackout build. I'm thinking of calling it the ICE build. So we're gonna call it ICE. Cause I was thinking, you know, both having both the guns on the table, fire and ice, I just thought it seemed appropriate and it seems like it's kinda iced out with the gold bolt carrier. But aside from that, if you guys do know why those bullets or possibly why those bullets could be landing sideways, please let me know in the comment section below because I'm not sure if it's something I need to get fixed or maybe it's just something simple, I'm not sure. But if you do know, please help me out and let me know in the comment section below. That would be much appreciated. And as always guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like. And I really appreciate you guys this time and I'll see you guys in the next one.